All right, so we're going to be finding work. <clears throat> work is equal to force times distance. Force is measured in uh, newtons. Distance, my bad. All right, let's, let's go, let's go. Come on. You can you keep going. <clears throat> what do you mean? You, you, you like to start over? Cut it, yeah. All right, uh, so we're going to be finding work. Work is equal to force times distance. Force is in newtons, distance is in meters, and work is in joules. So this is a two-step equation. So to get force, you're going to multiply mass times acceleration. We are already given mass and acceleration in the charts over here. So the Lamborghini has a mass of 1,100 kilograms and an acceleration of 6.16 meters per second squared, while the Honda Civic has a 1,179 kilogram mass and an acceleration of 2.66 meters per second squared. So using these values, find the forces to be 6,776 newtons for the Lamborghini and the Civic has a 3,136.14 newton force. So now we can plug in those forces and they're already given distances to find work using the equation work equals force times distance. So the Diablo would have a work of 6,776 newtons times 1,000 meters while the Civic would have a work of 3136.14 newtons times 1000 meters. So the Lamborghini would have a work of 6,776,000 joules and the Honda Civic would have a work of 3,136,140 joules. All right, we're going to use the numbers in our chart and the variables I'm about to give to you to calculate the kinetic energy of both the Lamborghini Diablo and the Honda Civic. So first we need to know the formula to calculate kinetic energy for any given object, which is given to us by 1 half mv squared, where m is your mass and velocity is equal to the v. So now that we know our equation, we can look to our chart from earlier and plug in the values in order to find the kinetic energy. So for the Diablo, we know that we have 1 half, which is a constant. Its mass is 1,100 kilograms. And finally, its velocity is 91.2 meters per second squared. Now for the Civic, the setup is similar. One half mass of 1,197 kilograms. And, ex and a max velocity of 56.3 meters per second, and that is squared. So once you plug in all the numbers, you get your final answers. Diablo is equal to 4,574,000 newtons. And the Civic is equal to 1,800,000 and 1,868,532 joules. Now we have an area where a car up here is on a 212 meter tall cliff and we're asked to find the potential energy. So first we need our formula in terms of variables to solve for kinetic energy, which in physics is equal to MGH. So M stands for the mass as in kinetic energy. G is a new variable where G is equal to gravity, which is equal to an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared, and h is the height, which in this case is going to be 212 meters. Knowing this, we can plug in the numbers, specifically the mass uh, and the height, into the formulas to find the individual potential energies of the Diablo and the Honda Civic. So for the Diablo, you have the mass of 1,100 kilograms times 9.8 for the gravity, times 212 meters. And for Civic, you have the mass of 1,179 kilograms times 9.8 times 212, which gives you final answers of the Diablo being equal to 2,285,360 joules and the Civic is equal to 2,449,000
and 490.4 joules of potential energy. So now we're going to be work, uh, looking at, sorry, all right. Now we're going to be looking at the work energy theorem. So we're going to use the formulas kinetic energy equals one half mv squared and equate it to work equals force times distance to solve for this theorem. Notice that one half mv squared and force times distance must equal each other for this to work. We'll be solving for the force of the crash and the brake forces needed to stop the car. And to do so, we'll divide by the distance at the end. We already have the kinetic energy of the two cars, which would be the Lamborghini Diablo with 4,574,592 joules and the Honda Civic with a total kinetic energy of 1,868,532.255 joules. So now we just need to divide by the stopping distances to find their force. So we're going to use the formula 1 half mv squared over the distance, which would be the Diablo with its kinetic energy over its distance and the Civic with its energy uh, over its stopping distance. So the brake forces needed to stop the car are, for the Diablo, 131,832.6225 newtons. And for the Honda Civic, 49,827.5268 newtons. Our last problem is going to be solving for power. In order to solve for power, we need to know our formula in terms of the variables. So the formula for power is equal to work in terms of joules over time in terms of seconds. So knowing that simple formula and knowing our work from previous calculations, uh, we can find the power of the Diablo and Honda Civic over a given time period. So our Diablo equation is gonna use its work from earlier of this amount and divide it by 14.81 seconds that's going to give us a work of 457,528.670 watts. And then for the Civic, it'll similarly be 3,136,190 joules over a time period of 21.17 seconds, which is equal to 148,000 140.765 watts. So using these two, we need to now find how many 100 watt light bulbs they could each power, which is as simple as taking these two numbers and dividing them by 100. So I'll save the writing and show you the answer. So for the Diablo first, it's uh, this number we're gonna divide it by 100, which is equal to 4,575 bulbs powered. And then for the Civic, we're gonna take this number and divide it by 100, and it's gonna be 1,481 bulbs.